Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Mark Wozniak, bringing you guys an update video on how to overclock your Intel HD family graphics card, one of the shittiest graphics card out there. So before this tutorial starts, I just want to say if you have a laptop, make sure to buy one of the coolers because otherwise your PC will just fry and yeah, you don't want that. I mean, frying your potato PC is pretty good because, you know, who doesn't like some fried potatoes, am I right? So the first step you guys would want to do is make sure that you actually do have the Intel HD graphics card. All you want to do is right click on your desktop. This is, by the way, on the Windows 10. So this might not work on a Mac. So yeah, go over to your display settings. Scroll down and click on advanced display settings. And over here should say, actually no, click on this. And then, as you can see, I have the Intel HD graphics card. And yeah, so now we made sure that we have the shittest graphics card ever. Now you would want to find out what your processor is. For instance, mine is an Intel Core i3. So if you don't know what your processor is, go over to the start menu, type in this PC, right click on it, and, no sorry, click on it first right click on it go to properties and now here you can see your processor as i said mine is an intel core i3 uh... now you'd want to find out your the generation of your processor or your cpu uh... mine is the fourth gen uh... for instance yours might be a a um... a second third fourth fifth you know seventh or a nine which yeah so now now that you know what processor you got, you'll want to find it. And mine is an i3. So if if it's not here, just uh, click on this. And then once it's installed, you'll want to restart your PC to make sure everything is okay. And type in Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. You should get a administrator pop up. You would want to click yes. So now since you have launched it, this might look a bit weird, a bit, you know, a bit too complicated. Don't worry, this is quite easy. First thing you would want to do is go over to the benchmarking tab and click on the run benchmark and then leave your PC. Make sure you exited out of every single program. Um, by that I mean Google Chrome. Make sure you exit out of that, exit out of Discord. So now... Um, I'm not going to run it because I am recording and it will sh that you know is going to be a bit weird so after you finish your benchmarking you, sh you should get your score anything above 800 is really good uh, but if you have a potato PC you would probably get somewhere around 200 to 500 so go over to compare online and see what others got and yes so after you've done your benchmarking go over to advanced tuning first of all make sure you do not touch the core voltage I'm telling you this will ruin your PC like I swear down if you move this like anything okay so this is the default and if you move it just like a tiny bit this might just shut down your PC and you won't e be evil and you won't even be able to launch it so yeah do not do that do not touch any of the voltage stuff uh, especially if you have a laptop because then oh boy see voltage do not you know mess around with the this voltage thingy you can work around with the offset same with your processor but we're not here for the processor we want to overclock our shitty gpu aka graphics card so you know just experiment with that 125 hit apply and then you know if that works maybe try 260 hit apply if it still works maybe try 300 hit apply if it works and your gpu has a limit so if you go over your limit then and you hit apply your screen will freeze and you're gonna have to restart your PC and then start with overclocking all over again 
So for instance, uh, my limit is 375. I apply my screen freezes, I restart it, and then I go below 375. 355, hit apply, it doesn't freeze. Then I know that this is my limit. And then I, you know, don't run with other of the cores of the, you know, processor voltage, you know, don't do that. You can mess around with, with your processor current limit. But you know, make these uh, baby steps and don't go full max rage mode because, yeah, bad idea. Go over to your stress test. Uh, once again, hit control, alt, delete, task manager. Make sure everything you, you quit out of your Discord, your Google Chrome. Make a graphics test. Start testing and see if uh, you've gained any extra FPS in your games. For instance, probably you're gonna gain somewhere around 5 fps also if you're looking maybe even 10 that's a maybe only if you have a better intel graphics card the second thing i would advise you guys to do is heading over to your battery power options going over to your create a power plan name it whatever you want say for instance you want to improve your fps on gaming say for instance league of legends Head over to high performance, hit next. Uh, click on create. And then uh, hit over, go to the change plan settings. Go to change advanced power settings. And then head over to your Intel graphics card. Make sure these are on maximum performance. Same with your processor power management processor state make sure these are 100% and if your PC overheats and it shuts down then change it to 75% thank you guys for watching please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials make sure to like comment down if this helped and yeah peace